Now, as we've been telling you, Hurricane Florence is set to be one of the strongest storms to hit the East Coast in decades. North and South Carolina are bracing for a direct hit. Fox's Ray Bogan is live for us tonight in Wilmington, North Carolina, tracking the storm. And Ray, what are you seeing there tonight? Yeah, Tom and Sine, good evening. And as you can see, we're along the Cape Fear River, and it's very, very calm. Uh, throughout the day, we've seen a couple of boats go up and down. I saw one person, uh, it looked like a mother, father, and their daughter taking a joy ride on a catamaran right out where you're looking right now. They were going in circles, having a great time. But I also saw another boat. Uh, it didn't speak to the guy, but I have a feeling that it was not a joy ride. He was going further away from the ocean. It looked like he was getting his boat as far away from the ocean as he possibly could. Now, while it's calm right now and it's very nice out and it's been that way all day, we've seen the signs that people are taking this storm very seriously. I was in the historic district uh, about maybe a block and a half away from us right now. And people uh, were boarding up their um, boarding up their um, restaurants, their bars, their breweries. Uh, they were also um, getting ready to potentially go inside. So I was talking with um, one restaurant and they were going to have three people inside their restaurant over the course of the storm so they can get ahead of the damage as it happens. Thomas and A. Ray Bogan live for us in Wilmington, North Carolina. Ray, thanks so much. Our Sky Fox drone flew over Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, where you can see a number of homes and buildings damaged there and boarding up as they get ready for Hurricane Florence. Now, Fox 5's Doug Evans talked to people in Myrtle Beach as they made their final preparations. Doug joins us now live. Thomas and A, take a look at Myrtle Beach behind me here. You can see what it looks like at this hour. Pretty desolate. Uh, we got an even better look, as you just did, with Sky Fox drone today. It would be an otherwise beautiful day at Myrtle Beach, except for Hurricane Florence looming off the coast. And a lot of anxiety for those who have fled, those who are staying, and those who fear they could lose everything. I'm just leaving it in the hands of God and everything that we can make it through this. Sky Fox drone shows how deserted the beach is with a mandatory evacuation now underway on the South Carolina coast. Hotels and resorts here are closed. Amusement areas vacant and exposed to the potential of high winds and heavy surf. Lifelong resident Charles Gaskew has only evacuated for one other hurricane in his 77 years. When was the last time you got out for a storm? Here you go. Hugo was 1989. Charles Gaskew says he will leave for Florence too. They say the storm is going to be just as cruel as Hugo was. And so the boarding up, the getting out, or even the staying put continues with landfall along the South Carolina coast expected sometime on Friday. I believe in God and I believe that he's going to help us make it through. We've been watching the latest warnings and watches from the National Hurricane Center with the Fox 5 Storm Chaser here on Myrtle Beach. Now we're expecting a storm surge of anywhere from four to eight feet high here at this location right on the beach. This bar boarded up, but you can see eight feet. That's well into this building, certainly. Live at Myrtle Beach, Doug Evans, Fox 5 News. All right, thanks so much, Doug.